so in today's video i'll just be showing y'all the process that i go through while testing new jars and wigs together to add on to my website so basically the decision behind it was i know i wanted some new jars for my fall collection so i chose these little amber jars this is just what they look like these say eight and a half ounces on the website but it doesn't show like the fill weight on it and then this one is a two ounce jar this is how it looks and it also doesn't show the fill weight so this is something that i'm gonna have to figure out i already tested some wicks on these i did a cd18 and a 0 0.3 the no the 0 0.03 booster wick in these jars and it was too big of a wick so in today's video i'll be testing out a cd6 these i got from candle science and i'll put these in the two ounce jars then i'll be trying out the cd8 from candle science again in these 8.5 ounce jars and the second um 8.5 ounce jars i'll be trying out these 0 0.03 booster wicks but i'm gonna try something that i haven't done before i'm not sure if it's gonna do anything but i just thought about it and i wanted to try it so i'm just gonna cut this wick in half because like i said it was too big like burning on the way down so i either like cut the sides off or i think i'm gonna just go straight down the middle and cut it in half and i'll see how that works so I'm going to go through the whole process with melting the wax, adding the fragrance oil, and then I'll show y'all me we can jars, and we'll go from there. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and visit our website at thehyaco.com. Okay, so I've got my wax and my fragrance oil over here. And then the, another thing that I'm testing, like I said, the website did not list the fill weight on it. So I'm just gonna test that while pouring the wax in. So it's already tiered, but I'm just gonna... Uh, okay, it's already tiered. This right here is advertised as a two ounce jar, but we're about to see how much it actually holds. So, and this also is in grams. Okay, we'll put 43 and I'll calculate that and put that on the screen for you. Now, this one is the, this over here, this one is the 8.5 or 8 ounce jar, I think it was advertised as. I'm going to tear it again and pour. Boom. 
that we could say like 189 or 190. And this one's the CD8 wick. Okay, so we have on the two ounce jar, we have 43. I'll probably bring it down to 40 so it's an even number, but we'll see the ounces. And then this one, these two, I'll just say 190. I'm about to put the wick holders on them. And of course, we'll just let them cure. While these um, jars go ahead and cure y'all, really what I'm trying to see is if these wicks will burn, like how fast or slow they'll burn, if you'll have a full melt pool on all of these jars and test to see by using which wick in the jars, like which one works the best for me. So this one again is the CD6 wick. This one is the CD8 wick and this is a 0 0.03 booster wick cut in half. So in the next clip, it'll be the burn test. But for now, remember to let your candles cure for two weeks. We'll see how these burn after they cure.